All right, so we have an activity here to use the QM for Windows uh, software in solving the, the following problems, which is first determine the project or the total project completion time, critical path, as well as the slot time for the project based on this on this uh, the data below. Second problem we have here is this one determine the, the critical path using this data here so going back to the first problem what i did is um, i did a little um, experiment to see if i'm to, to see if or to check if i'm doing the right thing so what i did earlier is i did try to solve this problems here this one to see if i will be able to get the same values for early start early finish late start late finish and slack time so let's start um, solving those um, this problem using QM for Windows software so firstly um, open the software and then second click on module and then since we have to solve for project management or per CPM click this one here and then it will automatically open this one or this tab here the file tab then click on new yes and then, and then just select single time estimate and then uh, change the number of activities and for this example here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve activities so we have to change this to twelve and then click OK and then this would be your um, table here and you just need to um, edit this one enter the details that was um, given so for activity time we have this one here the, the one yellow so we have 10 we have 7.17 uh, we have 3.17 we have 20 that's a seven we have ten we have seven point three three we have fifteen we have eleven point one seven we have seven six point six seven and lastly we have two point one seven and then for the predecessor so for activity a it's blank and until activity C and then for activity D we have A as our um, predecessor so A C B and then click enter D click enter and then E and then so next um, row here so that would be the same B D E so B enter D enter E and then go back to the first um, column so that would be F and then F and then G enter H and then next row would be I enter J the next row would be uh, G enter H and then that's it that would be your data here and once again we have to check if we will get uh, we will get the same data for early start early finish late start late finish and also set time so let's maximize the window then since we already have our data uh, data here click on solve there so this is going to be our answer early start early finish late start late finish and slack time so we have to check if we have the same answer for the exa given example so let's check all right so for early finish we have zero 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 and then 10 317 30 so you, ju you just need to check cross checking if we have the same answer and technically yes we have the same answer for this from QM for Windows and for um, 
for the example. So technically just follow the procedure in answering our activity so that you will, you will be able to get the same answer. And this one here by the way, uh, the project that says 68.67 would be the completion time. So technically this is going to be the, the sum of 10, 20, 10, 15, 7, 6.67 and these are our critical path and if you want to check or to to see the the graph or the what they call this the critical path then just click on solutions then select charts and then here this is going to be the critical path a d f h j k and that's it